Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have brought you a new project which is based on Spring Boot and front end is made or has been built by Angular. All right, Angular 8 version. All right, so we'll see how this project is going to work. By the way, what is the project name? Yes, which you saw in our thumbnail already and which is saw in the video name itself. So the project name is Online Exam Portal. Okay, Online Exam Portal. So we'll see how this project is going to work and for the database we have used mysql and the software we have used is mysql workbench okay so let's see how this project is going to work and i'll explain each and every step the uh, different section or the features everything i'll show you one by one all right so first we need to start our project all right so here let uh, this is the, the project for first let me start my backend application which is spring boot so i'll just click a right button over here okay so uh yes here run as a okay i'll just click directly over here it's project and run it okay so it will take few seconds to start okay it is gonna start i'll just minimize so now i have started my backend server it is going to start within few uh, couple of seconds so i'll start my front end server as well so this is my front end server all right this is my front end server i'm going to start it so I'll just open a command prompt over here. Just don't uh, get confused with this black color terminal. This is the terminal, okay, called git bash. All right. So it looks very nice. Okay, like uh, color coding everything. So the command to run a front end server is npm run start. So I'll just click enter. It will take a couple of seconds to get started. So let this get started. We'll just check whether a backend application has been started or not. So as you can see, our backend application has been started and the port number which will be running by default it will be 8080 all right so my front end application is going to start in couple of seconds so we'll wait for that all right as you can see our front end application has been started so when it gets started you can see a lot of descriptions or comments like this over here okay in the terminal or in the command prompt so i'll go to my browser all right so this is my front end page okay so this is a login page uh and for the first time when the front end gets loaded so we will get a login page over here so login for whom login for users so uh, users who are the users students and the teachers so like teacher teachers or we can also tell as admin as well so they are going to alert uh, like allow uh, conduct an exam everything something like that student job is to to attend the exam right so now here okay here so normally student information will be there in the database okay like student won't get the option to sign in all right so we'll be by default or uh, we'll be storing or we'll be storing the student details in the back end in the database studying itself so student will get their register number so uh, they'll get a password as well so based on that they can able to log in to their dashboard or log in to their account all right So here I have already one, uh, one register number which has been there in the database. So I'm going to use that. Okay. So one, two, three is a register number over here. I'll just enter quickly and I'll enter the password as well. Okay. So like this. So I have logged in. Okay. I have logged in as a user. Okay. Uh, as a student. All right. So now and also I'll just do one thing. I'll just open one more tab over here for an faculty. Okay. So here there is a login page for faculty and obviously faculty will be having their faculty ID as well, right? So I'll just give, uh, we ha I have gave only one faculty ID which is uh, one, okay? And the password, I'll just enter the password over here. So password, oh, I think I have entered the wrong password. So let me enter the password correctly. I think, okay, uh, let me cross check the password because I forgot the password over here. So password is 123, ID is 1, okay. So password is 123, alright. So I'll just log in. Okay, now I have logged in. This is the dashboard for faculty, means admin control. Okay, they have option to add an exam, view the result. They can evaluate the answers, alright, so I like that. So student will get two options to attend the exam and to view the results, okay. So uh, now what we'll do means, we'll add an exam okay we'll add a new exam okay i'll just click on add exam okay so add questions so there will be a subject data will be there in a database itself before itself like for each subject will be there 
so for that subject uh, lectures or the teachers has to enter the questions okay so for to cross check i'll just see the subject ideas as well work here so i already have added in a database which is data structures maths and physics so now uh, i'll use or i'll connect an exam for physics and the physics id is 113 okay so 113 i'll click on add subject id is 113 all right so question number let's say uh, 1a is the question number and question is um, let's say what is the uh, okay what is the unit unit what is the unit of ohm okay uh, let's uh, let's take it very simple okay um, let's say what's your name okay what's your name i just mentioned very simple one so marks it will be i'll give as uh, two marks okay so add question all right so question has been added so i'll add uh, two three more question subject id is 113 question number let's say last time i gave us 1a now i'm going to give 1b all right so question is what's your uh, favorite favorite bike okay what's your favorite bike okay like this so let's say uh, marks five marks added a question see and i'll enter one more question again so what's your favorite food okay what's your favorite food our okay let's spell in this. okay favorite food so question um question okay question okay all right so paste it over here question number is 1c let's say it lead this time 2a okay so marks five marks <laughs> all right so added a question okay so now what admin did is admin has added a question so let's check whether the question has been added for physics subject or not so let's click on view questions just you need to enter the subject id what's the subject id 113 right see these are the questions which we have added what's your name what's your favorite bike what's your favorite food all right so two marks five marks five marks got it so let's go back again and exam status i'll tell you what this exam status is so since we are already in the student as well so i'll just click on exam see now student or student is trying to attend the exam of physics but you can see the data structure and maths is available now why why where physics has been gone see that option will be or give the accessible by the admin itself so i'll go for exam status since we know that already data structure and maths is there so i'm gonna mark the ma math status as end okay end and i'll schedule it got it and now now next what i'm going to do physics okay for physics it's not there work here okay it's not there work here i'll just change it to start this test or start this exam start and schedule it okay so now if i refresh in the student portal see maths okay maths is gone now we got got physics with the subject id 113 got it so i'll just click on physics subject so view question so these are the questions available what's your name what's your favorite bike what's your favorite food and here you need to type the answers okay let's say what's your name so i'll just say quick all right so quick project all right and i'm going to save this answer as well okay so what's your favorite bike let's say bullet okay bullet or let's say bullet bike as <laughs> it is for five marks i get two words so save all right so what's your favorite food what's your favorite food okay favorite food let's say um actually pani puri is not a favorite food but i'll give as pani puri fan pani puri is a snack i like pani puri all right so pani puri <laughs> cool so i'll just click on save as well got it so now the student has been attend the exam and he have saved his answer as well okay now what's the uh, job of student to wait for the results so i just click on the results work here and what is the register name of a student startingly we gave it is 1 2 just you need to enter his register number and you can able to view the result of a subject but you can able to see the result of subject id 111 subject id 112 but you can able to see subject id 113 because 
that result has not been published or uh, not evaluated answer yet right so now i'll come to the admin part over here means the teacher part so now teacher or the admin is going to evaluate see he over here view results evaluation i'll just click on evaluation so based on the subject id and which particular student register number in it uh, like for each student there will be separate separate right uh, papers or the questions right means the answers so <coughs> subject id is 113 got it register number is 123 of that student so we just uh, attend the exam right now i'll just click on submit over here i'll just bring all the answers so this is the answer what the student has been written for the question okay so what's the name he has given quick project so i'll give full marks for two what's the favorite by bullet by so for my form five i'll just say i'll give four marks what's the favorite food i have i'll mention as three over here so then to uh, teacher has to save each and every month so save this has been saved answer evaluated and answer evaluated for this as well and answer evaluated for this as well okay so now evaluation is done so now now the what is the role of admin is I mean since the answer has been evaluated student can able to view the result of that so let's refresh this again so let's enter the student register number one two three see now student can able to view the result of that particular subject so for subject 113 subject id will be there normally so for total 12 marks he has scored 9 marks got it so this is how it is going to work you can attend the exam you can view the results this is the features of student and admin admin can able to add an exam conduct an exam view the questions set the exam status like start exam end exam add the questions view questions and view the results as well of any student and evaluate the answers so this is how the project is going to work online exam portal all right so i hope you understand how this project is is working all right so if you have any question related to this project or if you need any guidance for project means we have a team to do projects like final year projects mini projects ball application machine learning blockchain full stack spring boot projects we we'll do a lot of projects and we'll give a guidance for that as well so if you like this video just click a like button and uh, if you're new to our channel just click a subscribe button as well so we'll meet in our next video or next project video until then take care goodbye bye bye